Where do we start today? Well, I was thinking about tidying up in here, but Stu needs a job to do when he gets in, doesn't he? So there's rubble, there's a tip run to do, there's this kind of crap down here, look. That's got to go. So I thought, well, while I've got the tank on its back in the workshop, I may as well finish the top of that tank, get it stood up and get it out, and uh, I think then there's just the one fermenter to do, I can't remember. But it's just finishing. I can't get around the bugger. Let's climb over here. Yeah, it's just finishing the top. Smoothing these bits out. And then getting bickling paste on the inside. Still not got round to it. This has been sat here, I think, since Thursday. Well, no rest for the dickhead. I've literally found my new worst job and it is blasting the inside of these tanks with a scotch brat wheel Jesus it took me about an hour to do this tank maybe longer I've not checked the time and uh, that is the result so I'm gonna go inside all of them and just whack it with a scotch brite I noticed one or two of the tanks have got some little spots of rust this one's a good example I think it's on this side oh, you probably can't see it very clearly but you can see the weld and the cooling jacket how it stands out but on this one after it's been blasted with the old scotch bright the weld sort of seamlessly disappears and everything feels a hell of a lot fucking smoother hell of a lot smoother whereas that feels slightly grainy so the next job I think is we strip all these on the inside of the scotch bright wheel and get them looking getting looking similar and then I know I can trust them in terms of uh, microbes growing on, on the thin side ignore the uh, radio in the background there's no way I'm climbing out of the tank to turn it off here's a little bit of a view of what I am that's not polished that is polished you can see my reflection in it a couple of polishing lines but there's nothing there that you can feel it's perfectly smooth so I've just got this little section to do and then the base and then that's me done in this tank and then I've got Another two fermenters to do, the HLT, I'm not going to bother with the mash tun, the mash tun's got a decent finish and I've done very little welding on the inside of it. Probably don't need to do the HLT to be honest, but we shall see, we shall see. So yeah, while I'm here, I may as well just have a little sausage roll. 
Your face is black, isn't it? You always show up After the rain What you know about that? What you know about that? Of all the signs I let go, but you still held on. Like I've just come out at pit. Does the want any coal or coke, missus? Yes, I do look like I've been working as a coalman for a while. Diding! Anybody heard of Norfolk Hillbilly? Check out his channel, there's a link in the doobly doo below. He said to me in a comment, just the other day, Harry, why don't you cut circles of plywood and stick them to your stainless steel lids? That way, you've got the rigidity to clamp down the lids and you've got the hygiene of the stainless underneath. Well, friggin' right, I will, Clive. Cheers, buddy. Go and show him some love if you're not subbed already. Slightly different channel to me, but Clive is the king of eBay. If you need anything, chances are, that man knows where to find it. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna take a peen the edge over for the lip. I don't think I need that anymore. I might regret doing this, but I don't think I need it. So what I'm gonna do is hammer this flat so I can draw around the whole lady poo on some three quarter inch plywood and then we're gonna stick the three quarter inch ply to this. I'm not sure what glue or adhesive we're gonna use though. I have had a quick look on the gargler and there are quite a few videos on there doing tests with stainless steel and timber and adhesive. So, I think some type of two part or something like sticks like shit, you ever heard of that? Something like that will probably be suitable and that's what we'll use. But I don't have any now, so I'm gonna watch some vidges and maybe pick something up tomorrow or Thursday so you might have a chance to leave a comment below if you've got something that you know will stick plywood to 316. I'm gonna varnish the plywood as well before I stick it on. So yeah, we've got a couple of days. Leave comments, leave comments. So what I'll be doing is making a plywood donut because of course I have the spray ball adapter and the Santore and that of course I need to get access to it. On the next lids, I'll do two or three more lids of course. I might just put a little bit of stainless steel pipe so these spray, uh, these RJT fittings are proud of the lid and not so, you see that? Yeah, not much space. So it's literally low profile. Next time I might, well I didn't want to do that actually because I couldn't get, always thinking, always thinking, yeah. I didn't want to do that because when I push that onto the RJT, like that, if it's too high up, then of course on the other side, we don't get the snap lock fitting out to clip on our spray ball, do we? So I have to have low profile RJT fittings. So we're gonna to have to make donuts, plywood donuts, for all of the lids. I did think about doing it in two pieces, but then I thought, well if I do that, you've lost that rigidity because you've got to split down the center. So it has to be one great big plywood donut stuck onto this mofo solid. 
Anyway, I'm going to peen this off, and then I think uh, it started raining. I'll be having a look at the leaks and the roof. We've got a bit of rain now, and I can see three leaks. So I think I'm gonna have to get up there. I've got the scaffolding just here, like you can see it. So I may as well just climb up and uh, paste a little bit more of that stuff on. I've still got half a tin. Flex acryl, instant repair. But yeah, they're not too bad a leak. Not too bad. Oh, it smells. Right, well, I'll do that. It's five o'clock. Can you believe it? I'll get this up on there. And uh, Gemma should be here for half past. She's got the car. And then we'll bugger off home. Let's get it up. Oh, sailor. Six. <sighs> Leaks fixed. Just a boot. <gasps> I've not tried this one yet. Stansills put a dank on it. Six point two percent West Coast Pale. Put a dank on it. Mmm, nice. Very nice. Oh my gosh. Well, I've had a pick up at the uh, box gutter up there. So I'll come back round. It's just up here, look. I can just show you. I pulled a load of timber off. So when I went up the other day and poured all that stuff on, I missed the spot. I'd pretty much run out by the time I got there. So I just need to put a bit more in there, and then I'm gonna put some ply boarding underneath. And I think that's uh, way up. I think that's solved the issue. Pretty sure it has anyway. So, go home, get changed, good night's rest, so I can talk to these people from HMRC tomorrow, clearly and concisely. Before I go, I'm going to sweep that bit of crap up, but you don't need to see that. And I'll see you tomorrow. Put a dank on it. <laughs>